Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, as you can see, we're in my garage. Right over here is my street glide. And what we're going to be changing today is we're gonna change that windshield from a eight inch into a six inch windshield because I like my motorcycle, the way it looks, the dynamic. I like the fresh air. And now we'll get a little taste of that uh, hot air. It, I don't know about you guys, but it was went up to 70 today over here in Pennsylvania. And I just want to change this and maybe give you some tips and tricks if you didn't know how to do it. So stay tuned and we'll show you what it is. So guys, you got three bolts right here in the windshield, two, three. When you loosen the, these bolts, keep this one in, it holds the whole fairing in. Okay, so this is gonna be a total of seven bolts. So when you come down here under the fairing, you're gonna have one right there. I hope you can see it right underneath. And there's gonna be one down in the lower. They're all gonna be T27, okay? They should be all the same on your bike. I have a 2016 Street Glide, but this should be the same for most bikes. Road guides, you guys are gonna have to check with your owner's manual because I check for torque specs. So flashlight, T27 inch pounds so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking this off I like to just loosen the middle loosen everything up and then come back and try to deal with everything as I go these sometimes a little bit of a pain getting to so just be careful that the ratchet doesn't hit your bike or anything else in the area. So down here with the lower bolts, you don't necessarily have to take them out. All you got to do is bring them back so the fairing can move. So what I like to do is back them almost all the way out and then leave them in because we're not taking the whole fairing off. What we're going to be doing on top here is just taking the windscreen off up here and should be able to slide. Now, the problem is, is I don't know if you see, I have the bag here. So between the windshield and bag, I just cleared the top of this and putting this all together is gonna be tricky. So just try to be careful when doing so. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay out of your way as best I can and show you how to do this with the uh, camera and the two. It's really hard to uh, really work all three with my hands in here. So now you can see that this is loosened up and it'll snap right out. You don't technically have to take that out as long as you can get everything back in. See, right here, you got a little bit of grit all over this and from cleaning and some rock hits and everything, I think I'll replace this before winter comes next year. Okay, this is my six inch. So this is the original that was on the bike. All you need to do is slide it in, line it up. What I like to do is just tighten it up a little bit, okay, before you wrench everything down. So, as I drop screws all over the place, because nobody's ever done that before, right? So you might have to play with it. You might have to pull the windshield up to get it exactly to go in. 20 minutes later, and you get a little bite on the threads. Okay, so we're gonna do both sides. You know, if you have windshield trim, and you got yourself a pouch, you know, it's a lot of different things on a bike that really get in the way, so. Now, I got my T27. I already set my foot pounds. My uh, windshield screws are 20 to 30 inch, but all I want to do is try to get a little knob on there first. Um, I don't know if you like to do this or not, but I like to tighten it down a little bit by hand, not sitting there playing with the ratchet. I know some guys use their drills, you know, just for something little like this, I don't need to drill it in. I just want to make sure we're lined up in the proper position without actually coming out. 
so before I tighten everything down, I make sure the bag's in there securely, the windshield's in. Okay. Again, like I told you, down below the four screws, they're pretty simple. So again, tighten these all down, now I get everything lined up. Now, I don't, some guys will use Loctite on everything. I think there's no reason to lock tight everything. Um, it's overboard. When you got something like this, you know, I know you got a Holly in the rumble. Um, I've never lost a screw here in the windshield. Now, I have not to say I haven't lost it in other places, but here I think I'm pretty good. So you don't have to go crazy. This is a fairly easy process. So if you're gonna change your windshield, um, you know, I have this bag that just matches it. I know sometimes it sticks out. I'm okay with that. You know, is there other bags out there? Nah, you, you play with it. This just happens to be the best position for this particular bag. Uh, I like my bag because I can put my easy pass in here. I put my extra set of glasses. So I don't know if you like me and you go for real long rides. When I go for those real long rides, I like I like to just have my glasses. Uh, the other thing is just for some change and like I said, my easy pass. So now, oh, I already talked the insides. Remember, you have seven total bolts. You wanna make sure you hit all seven. Now, my other inside ones are not torqued yet. But I'll get to that. There we go. Once you feel that torque, this one's not quite there yet. You know, you can do it any way you want. But I like you to finish off with the center. The other four inside are tight. These two are tight. Now, good. So, I hope you like what you see. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, the bike looks pretty good. Yeah, I gotta clean the windshield. I gotta clean the bike. And we're all ready to go for a ride. Have a nice day. And don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll be making more videos real soon.